What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that's going to change your life. Today's topic is, it's a feeling, not a fucking excuse. Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending what time you're watching this. As I'm heading out right now to do a little bit of morning cardio, thinking about adjusting my schedule today and was just doing my morning marketing and my posts and my things that I put out there. And today's topic to me, when it comes to me, it's just kind of, it flourishes over me and then boom, I just put something out there. And the post went something like this. I get tired, I get excited, I get sad, I get happy, I get mad, I get frustrated, I get loved, I get hated, whatever. And I feel the same emotions as you. I go through the same thing day in and day out. The difference is I don't use them as excuses. I don't use them as excuses to justify the lies that I'm telling myself inside of the story between my ears saying, hey, it's okay, man. Life is tough. Have a fucking drink. Unwind with a fucking with your buddies at the bar. See, these 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 feelings used to be excuses for me, just like they may be for you. Every time I feel, especially like in the summertime when it would start getting warm, when you live in Wisconsin and you get nine freaking years of, or nine months of, of winter. You get three months to hopefully have some good weather. And usually a month and a half of those three months are just rain and crap. So it's not like we get a ton of great weather here. So when the sun would come out and I would hear certain songs and I would feel good. And I'm sure you've had those days when you just wake up and it just feels amazing. And like, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful to be alive and I'm thankful. It would hit me and I would fuck up those days. Because I was so happy in such a good spot that I would just think, yeah, man, I want to enjoy this drink. I want to go out and I want to have fun with the drink and, and, and all these things, right? Like, that's just the way that I would feel. But nowadays, I do get the same shit. I mean, it's sunny right now. It's 63 as I'm heading over, to, heading over here to run these hills and do what I'm going to do. And like I said, do my cardio. It's sunny in 63. I woke up feeling amazing today. I got a little bit of a cold, but I mean, all in all, I feel fucking amazing. But it's not an excuse. It's an emotion. Just like you. You're going to wake up today. You may be listening to this. You may be in an overly ecstatic mood. You may be sad. You may be depressed. Your wife may have left you. Your kids might not like you. Your business might have just done a massive, huge merger and make a bunch of money. You may have just sold your business. I have I have clients from all walks of life who are going through all different struggles right now. Not all problems are bad problems, right? Every single problem that you get is an opportunity to learn and grow yourself. And that's the message today here. Instead of looking at these things as excuses, Instead of looking at these things as if they're meant to hurt you or to make you drink or like, why me? I want you to start looking at these things as opportunities to grow. Because inside where it's uncomfortable, and even if that's a comfortable thought, but you know that that comfortable thought makes you uncomfortable day in and out, which causes you to drink because you don't know how to handle it because you start questioning who you are, where you're at, the control in your life. I want you to stop making excuses. I know this. For years and years and years that I would go through the same thing. I understand it's difficult, but it has to start with the conditioning of the mind. Well, it starts with a choice. Like if you, if you listen to what I say every day, it's about a choice. But it's a choice to learn from a day in, day out. Do the work, do the reps, 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 and actually change the way that your mind thinks. Actually be able to condition yourself so you can go in any situation and be so confident in your ability to win and predict your future and your outcome and create it that you know what you're doing. And in order to do that, You have to make a choice. A choice to stand up and be the fucking man that you know you can be. A choice to use every opportunity, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, as a learning opportunity. Sorry, I had a sore throat right there. Something's going on. So today, my brother, the question to you is this. Where in your life are you making excuses? Where in your life right now are you letting these emotions get in the way Letting you get weak. I've been wanting to say this for a long time. And actually, there's no better place to say it right now. We get hundreds and hundreds of people that come through and fill out my application a month to talk to me. They go as far as booking the appointment and get all the way to that point. You may be one of these guys. They get all the way to the point where they book the appointment. A few hours before, we've got the text messages set up to remind them to show up on their appointment. And then they cancel. They send a little message to me. Work conflict. Kids school. It's summertime. Kids don't have school. Right? They come up with all these different lies and excuses when in reality they got fucking weak. Weak to face themselves. Not me. I'm going to I'm gonna be here and be helpful to them. I'm not going to be an asshole. Sure, I might come off a little bit like straightforward, but that's just how it works. 
They got weak to themselves. Their sadness, their anger, their depression, their worry, their scared, their happiness, their financial security or insecurities cause them to get weak. And they bail on themselves. So where across your life right now are you using these emotions as excuses? And if you're ready to step up and ready to knock it out of the park and become the man you want to be, then it's time for you to click the link. It's time for you to type in, actually. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. I'm sure there's a link on the outside of this, uh, wherever you're hearing this from. Set up a time with myself or my team to where we'll actually go through and help you solve your problem. My promise to you is this. I say it day in and out. We will leave you better than we found you, period. What it's going to take is action. Make the choice. Take the action to make the choice. Fill out the link. Fill out the application. Book the call. And I'll see you on there. Until tomorrow. Have a great day. Amazing night. Whatever it is where you're at. And we will talk to you then. Take care, guys.